Guys, welcome back to a new video. And this time it's on the BMW 1 series. So all the guys watching the TT projects, I've literally just finished up, well, kind of finished wrapping it. I'll give you, I'll actually, I'll give you guys, a, will I give you guys a sneak preview? A tiny little, oh, there it is. That's, that's literally all you're getting. You're gonna have to subscribe because on the next TT video, it'll be the unveiling of the whole wrap. The dog is just letting himself out. Go on, Kevin. Kevin, so we're just finishing up here. There is the one series now. So obviously guys, we're going through a bunch of modifications. If you're new to the channel now, make sure you have clicked the subscribe button. Let me get Kevin in the car and we're just gonna head off and I'll show you how we're gonna do this and hopefully it works, hopefully it all goes well. Get off the car. Let's lock up and let's go. This has been sort of longly awaited. The spoiler, which is here and is not painted at all, which hopefully, so here is the spoiler. Got it off Amazon, I think. And um, it came with a bit of like glue, oh that, um, some sort of sealant, I think, to seal it on. But as you can see, it is completely yellow. It's sort of sit. Let's do this. On. Oh my god. So, first things first, I've got to really attempt to wrap this, which is going to be quite difficult. Um, and a lot of my wrapping stuff is at Mallory because we're wrapping the TT. If you've not seen the video, click in the top right hand corner now. But I think we should just get on with wrapping this now and see how it goes. Okay, so we are in the garage now. I've taken it out and it's actually plastic, not fiberglass, which is a bit of a bonus. So I'm actually just gonna see how, what the fitment's like on the car. So let me take you guys out. So let's check the fitment. Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh. Um, oh, it's not bad at all, really. Yeah, it fits actually quite nice. Obviously, there's a little gap there, but I think that's like that on the um, on the uh, one series which do have a spoiler. But actually, it doesn't fit that bad at all. So, right, let's just get wrapping it. This is not an ideal workplace for really wrapping it because obviously the garage is full of dust and the heat gun and all the good equipment really is at Mallory Performance where we're wrapping the TT. So. I'm just going to wing it with what we've got now and see how it goes. So I'm just going to time lapse this. So hopefully by the end of the time lapse, I would have wrapped it. Let's go. So guys, had a change of plan. It was really hard to wrap. It was really hard to wrap the um, the spoiler whilst it wasn't on the car. So what I've done, I've just painted it black and then I'm gonna wrap it once it's on the car, which is gonna be a lot easier. I painted it black because underneath, I think it's gonna be quite hard to wrap like up and around. Uh, Cause I, this, the wrap I'm using ain't great, but uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually stick it onto the car and then once it's sort of firm, I'll then wrap it once it's on. So, let's get the mastic out. Okay, this seems like the most dodgiest thing I've ever done. Sticking this on with some kind of grip fill or something. <laughs> I don't know how much is needed, but I don't want it to blow off on the motorway. So I've absolutely caked it. Now it's time for the vital step, sticking it on. Then we've got to wrap it after this. Right, I cannot mess this up. Okay, so this is nice and clean and dry. Here we go. Oh my God. 
up to this way a bit. Okay. Okay. Seems to be going on. Right. We're just taking a step back to look now. Obviously, we've got to wrap it, but it's looking sportier. It's looking better. Let's wait for that to stick and then we can wrap it. Okay, guys, let's do it. Obviously, it's back yellow again because I've sanded it down. Because what happened the first time when I wrapped it, you see all these sort of like, it looks like brush marks. I don't know what it is. They were showing up underneath the wrap. So, what I've done is spray painted it and then sanded it down and then hopefully that's give it a nice smoother finish so it hopefully won't show up again underneath the wrap so uh, let's get this wrap on I don't think it's 100% dry yet um, yeah I don't think it's 100% dry yet you know sticking to the actual spoiler but it's dry enough for us to wrap it and I want to get going so let's do it So guys, I've finally finished doing it. Are you ready for the end product? So guys, it is fitted and um, it does oh we have some focus it does completely change the look of the rear of the car um, now I'm not 100% ha happy with the fitting but you're never going to be with stuff from China I guess it's uh, fitted okay around here now the actual finish on top the wrap I used is not the best wrap at all it's pretty cheap but you can still sort of see it's hard to tell on the camera but it's sort of uh, you can see the material underneath, it's not that smooth, And um, but wrapping it gloss black, it sort of matches, it's not that bad, I think wrapping it carbon would just overkill it, um, but if you come to this side here, look, the gap is just like a finger's left length, but oh, I guess it's but the actual line here is in line with the rest of the roof, I've tried moving it and everything uh, to get it right, but it's not 100%, but if it's okay, there and I suppose if you're a perfectionist it's going to really do your head in that lip there but I guess that's what you get from getting cheap Chinese stuff off Amazon but all in all it does look pretty sick from the back now I think it's just missing that M Sport bumper so guys let me know what you think let me know what you think the next mods should be obviously this do, we're doing pretty well for being that most of the mods so far have been on the driveway and um, we've not had to go to Malibu Performance to do it also if you if you did like this video and you want to see more mods on the BMW or you want to see more on the Audi TT make sure you click the subscribe button down below but um, yeah let me know what next I'm thinking maybe coil coilovers next before we get the bumpers because I think once we get the bumpers it's going to be quite expensive either spraying them or maybe we'll have to wrap it but at the minute the TC is obviously being wrapped and it's doing my head in all this wrapping stuff but guys let me know what you think if you like this video leave a thumbs up make sure you smash subscribe we'll see you in the next video peace out